Office. What's the most prevalent valvular heart disease? The correct answer is aortic stenosis. It's the most common. What are the three hallmark symptoms of aortic stenosis? The correct answer is angina, syncope, and heart failure form the classic triad. In which layer of the aorta does a dissection occur? The answer is intima. This is where the tear initiates. Which valve is most susceptible to infective endocarditis? The answer is mitral. It's the most frequent site of infection. What's the leading cause of secondary hypertension? It's renal disease. It's a major contributor to secondary hypertension. What's the key structural change in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy? The answer is thickening. The left ventricle becomes abnormally thick. What's a major complication associated with atrial fibrillation? The correct answer is stroke. The irregular rhythm can lead to clot formation. Which type of cardiomyopathy is most prevalent? It's dilated cardiomyopathy. It's the most common form. What usually brings on stable angina? The answer is exertion. Physical activity increases the heart's demand. What are the three conditions included under acute coronary syndrome? The three components of acute coronary syndrome are unstable angina, non-ST elevation myocardial infarction and ST elevation myocardial infarction. Which atrium enlarges due to mitral stenosis? It's left atrium. The obstruction causes back pressure. What's another term for heart failure with reduced ejection fraction? It's systolic heart failure. The heart's pumping ability is impaired. What's the primary symptom experienced in peripheral arterial disease? The answer is claudication. It's pain with walking due to poor blood flow. What's the leading cause behind heart failure? The correct answer is coronary artery disease. It damages the heart muscle. What's a serious potential complication of deep vein thrombosis? The answer is pulmonary embolism. A clot can travel to the lungs. Which structure initiates the electrical impulse in the heart? It's the sinoatrial node. It sets the heart's rhythm. Where does blood leak back to in aortic regurgitation? The answer is left ventricle. The aortic valve doesn't close properly. Which part of the body can be affected by rheumatic fever? The correct answer is heart valves. It can cause inflammation in joints, skin, and the heart, but the most serious and long-lasting damage is typically to the heart valve. What medication is typically used to relieve acute angina? It's nitroglycerin. It relaxes blood vessels and improves blood flow. What's the hallmark symptom of a heart attack? The answer is chest pain. It's often described as crushing or squeezing. Which type of heart failure is associated with dilated cardiomyopathy? It's systolic heart failure. The enlarged heart can't pump effectively. What's the primary target of statin medications? The correct answer is cholesterol. 
They reduce LDL cholesterol. What's the main feature of Raynaud's phenomenon? It's vasospasm. The blood vessels constrict, causing color changes. Which congenital heart defect is most prevalent? The answer is atrial septal defect. It's a hole between the atria of the heart. How is the chest pain in aortic dissection typically described? It's tearing. The pain is often severe and sudden. And that wraps up part one of our cardiovascular medicine quiz. How did you score? Let me know in the comments below. Remember, this is just the first part of our three-part series. So, stay tuned for the next installment where we'll continue to challenge your knowledge and help you solidify your understanding of this crucial subject. Once again, don't forget to check out my website for additional resources and grab a copy of the Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine. It's a must-have for any medical professional. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues. Most importantly, subscribe to my channel for more tips. I'll see you in the next one.